శ్రుతి స్మృతి పురాణ ఆలయం కరుణాలయ నమామి భగవత్పాదం శంకరం లోకశంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం బాదరాయణం సూత్రభాష్యకృత వందే భగవంతౌ పునః పునః ఈశ్వరో గురురాత్మేతి మూర్తి భేద విభాగినే వ్యోమవత్ వ్యాప్త దేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్తయే నమ సదాశివ సమారంభం శంకరాచార్య మధ్యమాం అస్మదాచార్య పర్యంతం వందే గురు పరంపరాం ఓం సహనావతు సహనౌ భునక్తు సహ వీర్యం కరవాహై తేజస్వి నవధీతమస్తు మా విద్విషావహై ఓం శాంతి 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 ఓం పార్థాయ ప్రతిబోధిత భగవత నారాయణేన స్వయం వ్యాసేన గ్రథిత పురాణ ముని మధ్యే మహాభారతం అద్వైతామృతవర్షిణి భగవతీం అష్టాదశాధ్యాయిని అంబత్వామనుసంధామి భగవద్గీతే భవద్వేషిణి ఎం బ్రహ్మ వరుణేంద్ర రుద్రమరు స్తున్మంతి దివ్యైస్తవై వేదై సాంగ పదక్రమోపనిషదై గాయంతి ఎం సామగా ధ్యానవస్థిత తద్గతేన మనస పశ్యంతి ఎం యోగిన యాంతన్న విను విదుస్సురాసురగణా దేవాయ తస్మై నమ దేవాయ తస్మై నమ my audible yeah okay good so, all right I'm looking for a volunteer here so rukmini ji yes <coughs> so we'll chant uh, third chapter now we're going to start the third chapter today so all of you can uh, repeat after me అథ తృతీయోధ్యాయ అథ తృతీయోధ్యాయ అర్జున ఉవాచ అర్జున ఉవాచ జ్యాయసి చేత్ జ్యాయసి చేత్ కర్మణస్తే కర్మణస్తే మత బుద్ధి మత బుద్ధి జనార్దన జనార్దన తత్కిం కర్మణి తత్కిం కర్మణి ఘోరే మాం ఘోరే మాం నియోజయసి నియోజయసి కేశవ కేశవ జ్యాయసి చేత్ కర్మణస్తే జ్యాయసి చేత్ కర్మణస్తే మత బుద్ధిర్జనార్దన మత బుద్ధిర్జనార్దన తత్ కిం కర్మణి ఘోరే మాం తత్కిం కర్మణి ఘోరే మాం నియోజయసి కేశవ నియోజయసి కేశవ వ్యామిశ్రేణేవ 
बुद्धि मोहयसि बुद्धि मोहयसि इव मे इव मे तदेकं वद तदेकं वद निश्चित्य निश्चित्य येन श्रेयोहम येन श्रेयोहम आपनुयाम आपनुयाम व्यामिश्रेणे वाक्येन व्यामिश्रेणे वाक्येन बुद्धि मोहयसीव मे बुद्धि मोहयसीव मे तदेकं वद निश्चित्य तदेकं वद निश्चित्य येन श्रेयोहम आपनुयाम येन श्रेयोहम आपनुयाम so seeking blessings from uh, dikshana murti pujya swami dayananda ji and all our acharyas to continue our study into the third chapter of the bhagavad gita uh, sometimes we have a starting problem you know you know what starting problem is means where do you start from that is a question do you begin from the second chapter do you begin from the first chapter did you start jump into the third chapter do you give a summary like this these are the thoughts that are going on but we have to connect with the second chapter anyway so this chapter third chapter begins with a question by arjuna arjuna watch two shlokas he has asked and these both are questions so he is expressing a doubt so this indicates that this teaching is in the form of a dialogue there is because it is to be understood nowhere krishna said in the second chapter this is what atma is you believe what i say i'll say that He said, "This is what Atma is. You better understand it. Brahma with he talks about Atma with yah janati. One who knows this is the one who is a mukta purusha. Like that he says, not one who believes this. Believe is not enough. Believe is okay. Shastram says it, so we believe it. We already before coming to class itself we believed it. So belief is okay. Belief is important, very important." but then something to be understood so arjuna asked krishna for shreyas probably verse number 7 or so so yachreyasyan nischitam bruhitan me shishyasteham shaadi maam tvam prapannam i am your student you please teach me shaadi maam you please teach me he said shaadi shaadi so there are t- t- two ways of uh, saying you in sanskrit or in any other language so aap in hindi aap batlaiye aap padhaiye tum padao there is also you can say no ni solli kod versus ningal avrena illiya so there is a respectful you and there is a just point blank you here he say shaadi shaadi means you teach aap padhaiye he doesn't say he says tum padao correct shaadi otherwise he should have said what he should have said something like bhavan shastu shastu pathayatu he should have said no he says pathaya so as though you know you are now you are, it's your job to teach me you know that kind of attitude 
So friends, you know, they were contemporaries. So they talk like that. So Shreyaha, he asked for Shreyas. So that shows Arjuna knows what Shreyas is as opposed to Prayas. And I'm, I'm not going to explain it because it, we've already covered all that in the last one year. And then uh, Krishna talked about Atma, the nature of Atma. From verse 11, 12 onwards, and he says, the one who knows the nature of Atma as Ajaha, Nityaha, Shashvataha, Sanatanaha, that person does not come to grieve over the things that you are grieving right now. Like that, he already mentioned about Atma. And then, in between, Karma Yoga was introduced. Krishna said in, uh, in uh, what verse would, have, would that have been? So, Yeshate Bhita Sankhe Buddhir Yoga Tvimam Shunu, like that. Karma Yoga. Now listen to Karma Yoga. Now you heard about Atma, the nature of Atma, that Atma is imperishable. Atma always was, is and always will be. And uh, Atma is all pervasive, etc. Sarvagata, Nitya Sarvagata Sthanuhu, Achaloyam Sanatana, all that he said. Then he says Karma Yoga. Now you must have this attitude of Karma Yoga. So he mentioned a few things there. Yoga stah kuru karmani sangam tyaktva dhananjaya siddhya siddhyo samobhutva samatvam yoga ujjati. Samatvam, taking whatever comes with the attitude of sameness, namely prasada buddhi. All that he talked about Karma Yoga. Then Arjuna seems to have understood and asked the question of Sthita Pragnesya Kabhasha. And Krishna further explained. Explain what the explain a person of this steady knowledge, clear knowledge, crystal clear knowledge. Sthita Pragna. <coughs> so Arjuna learnt, understood that. Jnana moksha. This knowledge of Atma is, all, is, is what moksha is. Arjuna, Krishna does not say, I am very happy that you have now recognized that there is a problem. You need to go behind, beyond all this fighting wars and running a family and all these things. I am so happy. I will take, when I die, we all are going to die anyway. My avatara is also going to end. At that time, I will take you to my place in heaven. He didn't say that. He is talking about something, so an important fact about the nature of the self. What has the nature of the self got to do with going anywhere? So therefore, Arjuna understood that very clear. Therefore, when Krishna said, Yoga stah kuru karmani. In verse number 48, I think. 47 is karmanya vadikaraste. 48, yoga stah kuru karmani. Kuru karmani. You do all your duties with this attitude of karma yoga. Like that he said. So then he was confused. Because the, he was ready. Atma is to be known. Therefore, shravanam kuru. Therefore, you must listen to this, what I am listen to the Shastram. I am ready for it. I, he thought Krishna would, would say, okay, come on, you have now gone beyond all this wars and this and that. Come, let's go to Himalayas and I will teach you. Or let's go, let's walk away from this battlefield, I will teach you. That is what probably Arjuna was expecting. And so he was confused by that statement. <coughs> And Krishna already said, hey, this Vedas also has a lot of goodies it has to offer. So, Artha and Kama, if you go, there is so much that you don't know that the Veda has to offer. And so, Veda Vada Ratha Partha Nanya Dastiti Vadinaha. Correct? And then, Bhogeshwarya Prasakta Anam Tayapahirta Chetasam. So, there are people who are committed to this Vedas. And they think there is nothing else other than going to heaven, right? Bhogaishwarya Prasaktana. Their only goal is to enjoy. Enjoy here. And if you can't enjoy here, just 
escape to heaven do your pujas do your duties properly and please you please god and the more pleased he is more quickly he will take you to heaven and so there is so much the vedas is offering and krishna has said shruti vipratipanna te which shloka is that i don't 52 53 i think shruti vipratipanna te yada sthasyati nischala he says when the person is not distracted by the vedas this 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 is so harsh and i i i take the vedas so seriously i do my daily sandhya vandanam etc and i prostrate to bhagavan start the start the day with a prayer and uh, veda shastram is our pramanam and krishna says the one who is not distracted by the vedas is the one who will gain this knowledge and so this confused arjuna even more and uh, you've told me all these things you told me so much and you uh, almost looks like you put down the vedas krishna did not put down the vedas veda will offer dharma artha kama and moksha krishna was talking about the artha and kama aspect of veda so confused and arjuna has heard statements he lived in a in a in a country in a place where he has seen sanyasis sanyasya shravanam kuriyat sanyasya having taken sanyasa shravanam kuriyat listen to the shastra this is a famous statement and he must have heard it brahadaranya upanishad there are lokas like this so putreshanayascha vittaishanayascha ಲೋಕೈಷನಾಯಾಶ್ಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ
I don't know what made him do this. He he was just watching TV and he was just doing his usual stuff. And and I think and then something changed. And he started he called me and said, "Jake, I want to come to the gym. Take me to the gym." I said, uh, "Yeah, sure. I can take you to the gym. That's not a problem." So, took him to the gym and i told him this is how it is and you can check out all these racket balls and this and that from here and anything else you want you can check out here is a, a what do you call that track running track and everything and believe it or not within 6 months the fellow has lost last uh, 10 pounds 15 pounds he looks very different so that focus is needed in order to do something big so we see all that in our own families a child wants to do wants very interested in photography very interested in animal life and animal world and uh, parents say okay let us let us give him the freedom to do what he wants and believe it or not then the person gives up everything else you got to give up money because you got to buy the right equipment all this fancy equipment night time photography this slow motion photography this and that so many equipment you just pump all that you give up everything else go after photography he becomes he becomes the next richard attenborough how many of you know richard attenborough right so so if you have seen national geographic i think richard i think they his brother david attenborough was the guy who made the other movie uh so anyway i think it's richard attenborough so it becomes that person so you have to vyavasayatmika buddhi visa so you have to follow what what you want to achieve only then you can achieve it that's what arjuna says gnanam i want knowledge come teach me but then you're asking me to fight here this is the this is arjuna's doubt and uh, so and he says yuddhaya krita nischaya also tasmat therefore get up and fight confusing statement what do you mean therefore get up and fight that doesn't make sense therefore come study the shastram that is the right thing to say but you are asking me to fight so cause of confusion so arjuna is very clear very clear that karma action cannot give moksha what can karma do what can action do action can produce four kinds of outcomes so i am audible no yes yeah okay so actions have four kinds of outcomes <clears throat> so i'm going to unmute one of you go ahead uh, vijay if you can if there's no noise there uh, go ahead and unmute yourself vijay menon yeah yeah so it's so hard to speak without you know feedback <laughs> mm-hmm. sometimes the screen is frozen my screen is somewhat frozen i don't know why but as long as uh, my audio is okay i think we are good so four kinds of outcomes for any actions mm-hmm. what are the four kinds of outcomes apyam apyam means go, reaching a place reaching a place different than where you are that is the result of action then utpadyam production product production of something that did not exist before like having a child like producing mm-hmm. producing making sambar making rasam making parotta so utpadyam then what then vikaryam changing the form you got clay and then you make pot out of it you make so many things out of it so vikaryam then samskaryam fourth is samskaryam samskaryam means refining cleaning So you got so many things at home you clean it you sweep your floor you clean your various things that you have clean your vessels etc it's all called uh, samskarya 
These are the only possible outcomes of any action. And Arjuna understood very clearly. Moksha cannot be Utpadhyam. Moksha cannot be Apyam. Moksha is not a place to be reached. Utpa, not Utpadhyam. So Moksha cannot be produced. Look at that. Arjuna understood it. Moksha cannot be produced. Why it cannot be produced? Because Ajo Nitya Shashvatoyam Purana ha. You already, you always existed. You are and you always will be. It's a recognition of that fact that is moksha. And it cannot be a result of karma. Cannot, karma cannot produce moksha. That also he understood. And you can't, uh, so he understood that very clearly. So knowledge is the way to go. So teach me. Knowledge means teaching is involved. Teaching involved in knowledge. If belief was only there, then there is preaching. And there is no preaching here, only teaching involved. All that Arjuna understood. And uh, so now confused. Before the dialogue started also, he was confused. Guru Nahatva hi Mahanubhavan. What is this Arjuna? I mean Krishna. You are asking me to fight this war? What is this? Does anybody go and kill their Guru? And we are supposed to do Pada Puja to our Guru. <coughs> Shankara says in uh, in uh, Sadhana Panchakam, he says, Sad Gurun, Sad Vidwan Upasripyatam, Pratitinam Tat Paduka Seviyatam. Correct? How many of you chant Sadhana Panchakam? Yeah. yeah, some of you do that. So, go, go find a guru and then go worship his feet. Tat paduka seviyata. Worship his feet means you, you think of him or her and then invoke his blessings. And now here, guru, bro, drona, bhishma, these are my teachers. You are asking me to kill them. And so, confused before. Before Krishna started teaching, he was confused. Now also he is confused. It may sound familiar to some of us, but that is Arjuna's status here. Confused before, confused now also. And then he asked an indirect question. Now sometimes we ask indirect questions. Instead of saying we are confused, we will, we will ask some questions in order to clarify, get the, get the thing clarified. So that was an indirect question. So sometimes guests come home. And you say, long lost friend and long ago, come on, stay over. You should spend a few days here. And then suddenly they end up. And then three days over, four days over. And now you're beginning to wonder. What happened? When are and then the discussion happens. When are they going to leave? You know, uh, this kind of question. And then indirect questions we ask, you know. So what happened? You said you are going on a 20, uh, two month trip. I mean, you must have a very grand plan. You didn't tell us about your plans. And uh, your son is also there in Manipal University. So you probably all that. Says, yeah, yeah. In the next two days, we are going to visit Manipal University. Then it's ha pa, they're going to leave in two days, you know. So indirectly we ask all these questions. So Ajuna has an indirect question. Stita Pragnasya ka bhasha. And uh, and Nowhere uh, Krishna explicitly mentioned you must do your duties, you must do karma and you must also study. Jnanam, you must gain knowledge. Like that he did not mention anywhere. Mm. Then he would not have been confused. Krishna, Krishna was very clear. Jnana moksha. And Krishna jumped right into it. He did not Skip a beat. He did not beat around the bush. He just said, this is Atma. You must know what Atma is. He didn't say, you must do some karma and then you must gain knowledge and then parallelly you do this. You know, like a little bit of this, little bit of that. Like this uh, the mixture we have, you know. Put a little bit of poha, fried poha and then some curry leaves and then some mustard seeds. And by the way, don't forget masala powder, mango powder, amchur, and then, and then cashew, cashew nuts, you know, don't forget, little bit, some pieces, cashew pieces, and then some raisins also you put in that. Then you get some Navaratnan, Haldi Ram's Navaratan mixed, you know, 
you know, how many of you had it? Aldiram, yes. Amaratan mix. So like that, some mixture, yeah. Some mixture you provide, then that's, that is what it is. Variety is the spice of life. No, Krishna did not give that indication either. <coughs> and so, Arjuna was very clear. Knowledge is it. Jnanam. So far I've been ignorant and it's time for me to know. And so here, Arjuna asks a question here. Arjuna uvacha. Jayasi chet karmanaste mata buddhir janardana tat kim karmani ghore maam niyo jayasi keshara. This is what he's asking. So let's see what that is. Janardana. He's addressing Krishna as Janardana. The meaning of the word Janardana means Dushta Jana Mardana. That means the one who punishes people who do wrong deeds. And who punishes people? So how does Ishwara punish people? Because they have to come down every night from wherever he is and then you know, give their their ration of punishment or what? No. This is what we call karma. Karma. So you do something, you are going to get papa or punya. And papa and punya will unfold. That is the law of karma. And the law of karma is not separate from Ishwara. That Ishwara is Janardana. Janardana. So there is no physical action of punishing. Karma is, the, is through which we undergo all these experiences. That is Janardana. <coughs> Then, Jayasi Chet, if it is superior, superior, Jayasi means superior, if it is superior, if what is superior, Buddhihi, Buddhihi Jayasi Chet. If knowledge, here buddhi is not intellect, buddhi is not mind, etc. It means knowledge. That jnana yoga you talked about, that knowledge of atma. If that knowledge of atma is superior, superior to what? Karmanaha. 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 Superior to action. Karma. If knowledge is superior to action. Okay. And then, te mata, according to you, in your contention, te mata, okay? So, according to you, if knowledge is superior to action, hey Janardana, then, tat kim karmani ghore ma, kim niyojayasi, you are forcing me to engage in ghore karmani, in an action that is very gruesome, ghore karma. This is not an ordinary action. This, what's going to happen over the next few days is not ordinary, ordinary stuff. And after everything you said about Atma, you are asking me to fight a war. Kimartham, tat kim karmani ghore maam, your maam, me, your, your, uh, you are making me Engage in this war. Why? This is what he is saying here. <clears throat> so let's look at it. So this shloka is not, not difficult to translate. So you can see the difference between translation and explanation. The context behind all these things. How important it is. So we can understand. We can get into Arjuna's mind as it were. So let's see. Hey Janardana. Hey Krishna. Exclamation mark. Now I am literally telling you period, comma, and etc. Because the communication gap is there through this channel. And, uh, and so I am looking at your faces and uh, I can't read them that well. And so I am making it very explicit. And so don't get me wrong when I say all these things. There is the reason for that. Okay. If in your contention... Te mata, if in your contention, knowledge is better than action, buddhihi karmanaha jayasi chet, buddhihi karmanaha jayasi chet, 
if in your contention knowledge is superior or better than action comma why then do you impel me push me why then do you impel me tat kim maam niyojayasi tat kim maam niyojayasi into this gruesome action ghore karmani why then do you impel me into this gruesome action hey keshava krishna so he uses two words here to address krishna so hey janardana so oh, krishna if in your contention knowledge is superior to action better than action comma why then do you impel me push me into this gruesome action comma keshava krishna okay so that's that's expresses arjuna's confusion very clearly now let's look at the second question which also shloka which also we chanted vyame shrene va vakyena ूसिंग pointing the finger to krishna okay now look at that if if arjuna would have said you are confusing me that means it's an accusation it is an accusation and telling krishna that you are confusing me krishna is a great teacher as we have seen and jagat guru and all and you tell that person you are confusing me wouldn't it have been better to say Hey, I think I did not understand properly, and I am confused. Correct? That is a better statement. Mm. Problem is here, not with you. That is the way. That is the right attitude. And can you explain? Can you clarify? That's the idea. So therefore, moha yasi eva eva. That word eva is very important in this shloka. It tells us. how to have a proper conversation how to proper have a proper conversation so uh, me mohayasi eva me is me you are as though confusing me as though it appears like you are confusing me okay that's better that's better than saying you are confusing me because that's a judgment appears means okay i may be wrong in the way i've understood and uh, those words that you have spoken are have confused me so <clears throat> so vyami shredeva vakyena how are you confusing me me buddhihi buddhim mohayasi eva my mind now here buddhi does not mean jnana yoga here buddhi means my mind me buddhim mohayasi my mind you are confusing as though confusing by vyami shreneva vakyena <coughs> by contradictory words contradictory sentences vyami shreneva vakya so we know why is contradictory <coughs> because on the one hand karma cannot give moksha and on the other hand i am supposed to do karma these two are contradictory to me you can't tell me you can't <coughs> you can't say see the doctor cannot say you know friend you have you have you have diabetes your sugar your sugar has been running high for a long time your hba1c is high 
and uh, today sugar reading was 350 400 and uh, it's time for you to you have a condition called diabetes you may not have heard but it's called diabetes and uh, you have to now change your lifestyle <clears throat> oh really doctor yeah okay what should i do every whenever you get up in the morning the minute you get up in the morning you have two rasagullas <clears throat> okay mm-hmm. you have two rasagullas then what about uh, uh, two rasagullas yeah that's that sounds good and then uh, uh, towards night what should i do night also you know desert have have another helping of uh, either rasagulla or some mysore pak you know we should have that and so this fellow is confused now even though he likes to have all these things he is confused because he say sugar is high and this is what i am used to doing now i thought you are going to tell me something different and you are saying have rasagullas <clears throat> this is how krishna your advice is and uh, so ca- very contradictory vyami shreneva vakyena so you already said you already said ajaha atma ajaha ajaha unborn therefore karma cannot create this atma create this limitless atma which is moksha so utpadyam one of the things that karma can do is utpadyam right four things one is utpadya utpadya means production atma cannot be produced the moksha i am seeking cannot be produced okay uh, then what so that ajaha came na jayate mriyate va kadachit nayam bhutva bavita va anabhuya ajo nitya shashvato yam purana was said in verse number um, 20 okay it was said then what then uh, apyam reaching a place karma can make me reach a place place other than where i am okay so that also is not possible because nitya sarvagata sthanu achaloyam sanatana and this atma is sarvagata all pervasive all pervasive atma there is no place where atma is not and achalaha therefore unmoving so where is the question of going to a place going to heaven and finally getting moksha that also is ruled out my dear and so it is anapyam it is anutpadyam it is anapyam and then what and then uh, karma can create changes vikaryam atma is avikaryam so nitya nitya sarvagata sthanu so their nitya means not subject to time therefore not subject to change so atma avikaryam he understands all this then some asamskaryam also <clears throat> likewise cannot be refined improved cleaned this is very clear so arjuna need not be told any more that moksha cannot be a product of cannot be a product of action no action can produce moksha this much is clear about <clears throat> and so <clears throat> so this jnanam and action we have to periodically remind ourselves their roles what can action accomplish what it cannot accomplish what it can do what it cannot do action is centered on oneself on the person the free will when we say free will is what produces action and that free will is centered on the individual but knowledge what about knowledge knowledge also happens here only in my buddhi that also is centered on the individual no knowledge is not centered on the individual knowledge is centered on the object of which of which you want to seek the knowledge about <clears throat> so before i go there there is a question here from madhumati so fourth thing about kar- about karma she asked and so it's nice that thing message pops up like that i was able to read that because i you know trying to click and find out i'm not used to that and uh, so yeah fourth thing so what are the four things first is utpadyam i may say the order little differently utpadyam what is karma can produce something that did not exist apyam can make you reach a place which you which which is not 
which is different from the current place and then uh, uh, vikaryam change change of form like like the milk changes form to curds yogurt like this anything where form is changed and then and then samskaryam samskaryam means cleaning up cleaning up refining so where what all cleaning processes are samskaryam so karma can produce any of these four atma moksha cannot be one of these four if it were if moksha was one of these four then imagine what will happen what will happen hmm? what what is produced can be lost can be destroyed yes. so moksha is produced means moksha is going to be destroyed samskarya what is cleaned up we clean the same shirt again and again and again and again huh? <laughs> the same shirt only is being washed week after week after week you don't buy unless you go buy a new shirt okay new shirt so that even after cleaning after a while it's gone you can't wear it anymore so some atma has to be asamskaryam avikaryam and uh, apyam going to a place going to a place and then being there forever this is a very attractive idea i tell you it's it's so attractive i want to go to a place where i can be there forever this is why all religions are very attractive and uh, and we have decided earth is i don't know why they have decided earth is not the place and i think <laughs> because they will be caught if they say that they'll be caught red handed and so they say earth best to go to heaven just a place where nobody can know anything talk mm-hmm. about and just heaven is a great model for us to be trapped in and so and so we say wait a minute you go to a place means that is part of time that is in time and whatever is in time has to has to change has to end also kshine punya martya lokam vishanti our shastram says it is a result of punya what is the result of punya going to heaven swarga is a result of punyam and yatha iha loke karma chito chiyate kshiyate sorry just as all the things that you have produced accomplished by karma in this world kshiyate disintegrates disappears so also tatha amutra amutra means there in swarga tatha amutra punya chito loka hakshiyate that world which is also something you created out of your own punya you are going there apyam that also kshiyate that's it in one statement they just finish off swarga is finished swallowed swarga is swallowed so it is meant to create vairagyam it's meant to create viveka clarity it doesn't say there is no swarga swarga is there just like hawaii is there and this place and that all the different brindavan gardens is there and so many beautiful places are there in this world uh, swarga is also there we have no problem somebody else says no i found another swarga we don't have any problem believing in that person okay you keep your swarga with you so may god bless you we will say may god bless you <laughs> so so therefore this this gnanam and karma are two different things i was saying i was saying that the karma is centered on oneself one's free will therefore kartum shakyam akartum shakyam anyatha kartum shakyam therefore if somebody says leave the leave the slippers outside you can leave it outside you can leave it far away near the staircase you can leave it near the door you can leave it anywhere you want or you can say no i am not used to used to leaving the slippers outside that also you can say. also you can say i will just stand here and then we'll talk and then i'll go i'll leave in 5 minutes i don't i don't need to enter your home that is also fine why because free will you have the free will you have the free will to do whatever you want to do but what about knowledge i thought free will is involved in knowledge mm. not at all 
knowledge is centered on the object of knowledge on the object of knowledge in case you forgotten i remind you i i i'm not i am never tired of reminding you that if i ask you what is this Watch. i don't think i will get 10 different answers i mean 10 different words you might say watch you might say clock you might say mm. time piece those are all there but they are all synonyms mm. and but you nobody will say this is an apple this is a, <laughs> this is an iphone nobody will say all that why why you can't say that why can't you use your free will and say this is a smartphone why why can't you say this is an apple you have free will you are a human being you are not an animal you have a thinking faculty why you can't say this is an apple you know no 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 no. Ah, no 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 i i'm a, I, you just said i am a thinking person if i say it is an apple what will people think of me you know <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what happens no you can't say it's an apple because you don't decide it is an apple this fellow decides it is this fellow decides what he is mm. the object decides therefore we say knowledge is centered on the object vastu tantram mm. in sanskrit vastu tantram what about free will that is centered on me i am the master when it comes to action That's why karmani eva adhikara hate. Verse number forty-seven. Krishna, karmani eva adhikara. You have action over. You have authority over action. You can do any which way you want. You can do. You need not do also. That is your choice. That is where choice comes. But when it comes to knowledge, free will just dis. Free will has no place at all. This also Arjuna understood. This also Arjuna understood very well, and so. we will stop here <clears throat> by understanding that arjuna understood what krishna said and but is confused by the fact that yeah i am very serious now i think you have inspired me in uh, quite a bit continue teaching me and uh, let's walk away from here don't ask me to fight this idea of asking me fighting doesn't make sense to me i am not afraid to fight no no don't get me wrong i am not afraid but it's not the right thing for me to do right i am i'm getting what you say about atma i want that knowledge that is the confusion arjuna has and we will continue this discussion in the next class <clears throat> om swasti prajabhyah paripalayantam nyayena margena mahim mahishah go brahmanebhya shubhamastu nityam loka samasta sukhino bhavantu kale varshatu parjanyah पृथिवी सस्यशालिनी देशो यम क्षोभरहिता ब्राह्मण सन्तु निर्भया ओम सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामयाः सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःख भाग भवेत् असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं Yeah so you know.